Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is great to be on Streamlabs episode two. This is going to be, I guess I should say lesson two. Uh, this is going to be centered around adding a scoreboard to your um, to your broadcast. That's what we're doing here. So let's just jump right into it. First off, I'd like to say that all the people that are on this list, Lena Rodemacher, Noah Caldwell, Eileen Lindbergh, Trevor Barnwell, Dakota Akers, Victoria Buck, Isabella Smith, Mackenzie Pig, Taylor Snodgrass, Bidiana Bobmontine, Allie Gooch, Andrew Blankenship, Willie Steinbeck, Willa Miles, Anya Binkholder, Mackenzie Eccles, Owen Binkholder, Jace Cunningham, Ayla Schmanke, Granite Miles, Ari Robson, Zach Holtmeyer, Avery Goodman, Jaden Zilch, and Logan Bailey. You guys all did exactly what you're supposed to do yesterday. At least you got to a point where you created your scene selection, um, your scene collection. Uh, if I click on just somebody at random, I will choose um, Dakota Akers. It's not really super random because uh, I remember that he got his stuff done. So if I look at uh, Dakota Akers per chance here, uh, I know he watched the whole video and did everything he's supposed to because he's got text and color blocks here. I can totally put text on color blocks. I can see that he did images and layering. He put images in and he was able to see the layering process here. I can see that he did a media and source because he put Land and Eli on top of this Cardinals logo and he did the right looping process because he's got the video looping. Uh, and then on screen capture, I can see he's got this uh, screen inception thing going on here. Uh, I think he trimmed his so it would fit the game. Um, so I know that it worked. So uh, one thing I will say, and this is props and shout out to my um, to my eighth hour, Noah Caldwell. When I talked about display capture, I talked about how if you crop the video or you crop the display capture that... Uh, you could get it to where it was just that one screen. Well, it's actually much easier than that. If you add a source and you just do window capture, you can choose just one window and you don't really have to do all that cropping. You can crop the top because it's going to have that top part of your URL. If you crop that like, I think it was 125, it would get rid of that uh, portion of it. So uh, we'll, we'll circle back to that at some point, but this video is going to be talking about adding a scoreboard. So what I'm going to do is you should open up yours. You open up yours by hitting the drop down arrow, making sure that you're on your name. So if I go to my name, and if you ever want to see how to do it, you can always click my name and see how to do it, uh, and that would be helpful to you. But I'm going to hit plus because I'm adding a new scene, and I'm going to call this scoreboard. Uh, this video will not be quite as long because scoreboard won't take as long. If you watch any of our broadcasts, you're going to notice that we have scoreboards on there for sporting athletic events. It doesn't matter if it's a softball game, if it's a football game. Uh, these scoreboards don't just magically appear. You have to do something to make them appear. Uh, anybody that's helped run the stream with us, Lily Steinbeck, Grace Abel, um, Kyle Bullman, Granite Miles, you guys have actually operated the scoreboard before and you're a little bit familiar with it, but you still don't know how it got into uh, Streamlabs or OBS to begin with. So I'm going to show you that now. So first off, to show you this, I am going to do the first scoreboard that we've ever played around with and used. And that is this right here. If you go and open up a web browser and you go to uh, keepthescore.com, this is a scoreboard site that we use. Now, um, I'm hoping, I don't know, because obviously I don't have a one of your guys' accounts, but um, I don't know if you have to log into this, if the school will let you create an account, I have no idea. But I'm gonna hit start here. And I am going to do create a live sports scoreboard. That's what we want for our OBS software. So I hit create a live sports scoreboard. And I still haven't logged in yet, so I'm assuming that it's working and I don't need to log in. And I'm gonna choose a sport since we're in basketball season right now, I'm gonna go ahead and choose basketball. So I choose basketball. And it's gonna take me to a screen that looks like this. So here's what you have to know about whenever we do our sports broadcast. Uh, somebody has to be operating the scoreboard from the computer. So you'll notice whenever we do our broadcast that I have not only the laptop screen, but I always bring up another screen, a TV. Uh, I've been using this really terrible TV. Sometimes I'll grab a monitor out of our video game streaming room and I'll use an additional computer monitor. but. I, I always like to have my stream up in Streamlabs, and then on the other monitor, I like to have this scoreboard website. Um, and basically, you scroll down here, and you're gonna see how the controls work. If I hit plus three, guess what? The home team just scored three points, and then that's what's gonna show up in my broadcast as well. 
So whatever I manipulate here and change, that's gonna be what changes on my uh, website. So, or on my broadcast. So, uh, bonus, I mean, you have to know a little bit about the sports to be able to do this, but not a whole lot. Uh, TO would be timeouts. How many timeouts does the team have? All right, they used uh, the FO is fouls in basketball, period, is there's four quarters in basketball, so you could add or subtract quarters. Uh, the timer and buzzer, that's a pretty important element of a sporting event. Um, this high school basketball games in Missouri are eight minute quarters. Uh, and then over here, if you hit plus 60, it's gonna add a minute, minus 60, take away a minute. And then obviously these are t seconds, so 10 seconds, uh, one second. You hit start. Uh, oh my God, that was loud. I did not realize how loud that was. Um, yeah, so there's that. Um, and then in the game, obviously you're gonna get off a little bit. So you're looking at the scoreboard a lot during the game and you can hit stop and you can add, you know, get yourself back to where you need to be, which is helpful. But there you go, that's how that works. Um, the tips here are pretty nice. You could actually just use the space bar on your keyboard to start and stop the timer um, to be more accurate, things like that. Um, but when we come down here, this is where you can edit some stuff. Obviously, we are always the home team. It's kind of annoying if you start typing here and then you click off, it's gonna go back to being the home team until you actually hit save. So you have to actually click on to the uh, edit portion. It's like a pencil, you click the edit portion, and then I could change this to Dutchman, since we're the Dutchman. Let's just say we're playing the Eagles. I could change this to Eagles. Um, you're gonna notice that up here, it's gonna change that to Dutchman and Eagles. Now, the only bad thing about this, Whenever I first started using this during football season, uh, the free version let you change your scoreboard. Now you really can't, as far as like the colors and things like that. Uh, where it says you could uh, change the background color, the text color, you can change stuff on here, but unless you have the paid version, it's not gonna actually show up in stream uh, Streamlabs. Uh, I used to be able to put images of the logos of like the Dutchman logo and whoever we're playing doesn't show up anymore unless you have the paid version. The whole thing still works, so we still have used it and utilized it, uh, but it's like 25 bucks a month or something like that uh, to be able to fully utilize this. And for a TV studio, we just, truly, we can't afford that. Uh, so that's what that comes down to. Uh, you can change, if you have that, you can actually change the board appearance quite a lot, the background, make it look exactly how you want. But um, Anyways, over here on options, uh, I'll use Grace as an example. She didn't want to keep track of possession, which for this, it's not really that important. Uh, bonus, she didn't want to keep track of that. Uh, she wanted to keep track of timeouts. She didn't want to keep track of the timer. She wanted to show fouls in the period. So when she did it, her board looked a lot more simple. It just had period, time, and fouls, and that's perfectly fine. And that's how she did it. Now, I better change this real quick. We don't want the Eagles to be beating the Dutchman. So. Now that we have this on here, you're probably wondering, okay, that's great, Mr. T, it's on the internet, but how do you get it into Streamlabs? Because right now it's not in my Streamlabs. Here is how. I need to go back to my scoreboard. Right above here, it says get scoreboard link. So you get this link, and then it's gonna let you put it into your streaming software. So I hit get scoreboard link. I'm going to, uh, I guess you do have to, this is the point where you have to log in. So uh, you can make up your own login. I already have a login. So I would just log in with my account. Um, so first off, tomorrow, I'm recording this um, Tuesday night. Uh, but tomorrow when you guys try to do this, or today, I guess I should say, when you're trying to do this, try to make yourself an account and see if it works. Uh, and here's the scoreboard link. I hit copy to clipboard. And when you hit copy to clipboard, that just means like I could paste this somewhere now by hitting control V or right click paste. Uh, so this is now copy because I click that button. I go back to my Streamlabs. I go to plus. I'm adding, and this is a browser source because it's a website browser, a URL. So I click browser source. I click add source. Uh, I'm just going to call it scoreboard because it's my scoreboard. I'm going to add source. Now that's not going to show up. You see it's a black screen until I actually put in the URL here. I just hit control V. I put my keep the score and you're gonna see my scoreboard eventually pop up. There we go. Now, obviously this is really way too big. If I was doing a live stream, I would not want this thing to be this big. So I would put it down here. I would usually put it in the corner because that's where it would normally be. And that's one scoreboard.
But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna make you put two scoreboards because there's more than one website that you can find these at. And honestly, if you finish early, I encourage you to do some internet searching on your own. See if you can find other sites that can make scoreboards because here's what's gonna happen. At some point, this is probably gonna be free because some developer is going to make it free and we'll be able to customize it all we want. But right now, uh, you know, we're still, I mean, not a lot of people are really doing broadcasting like this. Uh, there are some, obviously, some bigger schools and stuff like that. But as far as high schools and whatnot, I wouldn't say there are a ton of people doing what we're doing, especially I don't think anybody in the Four Rivers Conference does it. So um, I say that because at some point, somebody on the internet is going to make something like this that's free to use. It's just not out there right now. Uh, now, obviously, this is free to use, but we can't edit and customize it a lot. I think at some point we will have that, but I digress. Uh, anyways, I told you guys that you're going to have to do more than one scoreboard. So here is me doing that. You don't need my digital essentials. I apologize for that. Um, I am going to now bring over another website. Now, I just found this one. I haven't actually used it yet, but I'm excited to because the next basketball game, which is going to be the girls' final home game this year, I do plan on using this scoreboard for it. So this site is called... Uh, score game, let's see here. I think it's just called score game dot stream. I don't think you need this backslash. Yeah, if you just go to score game dot stream, it's going to take you here. So, uh, what I want to do from here is I want to go to my boards and I want to go to create new board. Now, this one I believe you don't have to have anything. Uh, you don't have to have um, an account, nothing, I don't think. Or maybe I do have an account. Maybe I logged in and created an account. I don't know. Uh, but here I would just make my team name uh, Dutchman for the home team. Or I'm going to do Dutch Girls because that's the next game I'm doing. Dutch Girls, the away team. I don't even know who they're playing their final game of the season. I'll just put Tigers. Seems like a common team name. Uh, I'm going to go to Advanced Settings. And here's where I get an uh, opportunity to change some stuff here. I could put a logo on here. This one does work. Uh, I actually have logos on my computer quick, so I'll upload. And it's just an image file. So I go to logos. We'll go Dutchman. Um, and then, oh, it's too big. So it's got to be a small photo. So I don't have them as small photos on my computer. So never mind. I'm not going to put the photos on there. Um, I could say the home color. I'm just going to put the home color is orange. In the away color, let's do the eagles. We'll do yellow. Uh, very good. I'm um, change this to Eagles, I guess. Um, let's see here. Countdown mode. No, I want it to count up. Let's see, what do we got here? This timer is counting up. I want it on countdown mode. So then that's where I have to. There should be. I don't know why they don't have a way to. Oh, here you go. Maximum part time in minutes. Let's go eight. I don't know. I think you have to hit the minus to get all the way down. Some of these things, obviously this is free to use, so it probably is not without being buggy. It's probably buggy a little bit. But I took it down to eight because there are eight minutes in a game. When I add points, I just click the plus and minus here. Um, one is for the period. And then that's basically all I need to see here. Uh, display time, countdown mode, display part game. You could put shots on there, but I don't even know how you would do that with basketball, so I'm going to not do that. Uh, display cards, I don't know. Maybe that's for soccer. I'm not really sure. Uh, maybe maybe that's what this is actually for, soccer. Uh, but I'm using it for basketball, whatever. Uh, now, how do I get this on my stream? I hit stream. And what do you know? This is what my scoreboard is going to look like. I would click this, right click, copy. I go back to my OBS. I'm going to add a browser source. I hit add source. Uh, we'll call it, also, Anya Binkholder has a question. If you want, you don't want to add this one because I've already made this one. I'm adding a different one. When you're adding a new source and you already have one of this type of source, you have to come down here and click this slider to say add a new source instead. Now let's call it scoreboard two. There we go. Um, I add source. I change this URL here. And 
I hit close and it's going to find that scoreboard and what do you know there it is and that's it that's how you add scoreboards I can make that bigger if I wanted to uh, you're going to see in the next home girls basketball game that we do this is actually going to be the style scoreboard that I use uh, and maybe I would make the Eagles black because that yellow does not stick out very good on that white but um, one other thing I want to see here just before I get off here is on this I want to guess that the last time I did this um, I had a little bit more um, oh here we go I could choose default row or column I think I chose it as row and then I hit stream I think I liked row a little yeah I liked this a little bit better I think although I don't know maybe this one does the other one does look cool the other one was the if I go to default it looks like this I just say this is a little bit bulky um, I think the column I don't really like the column at all it's like stacked like that um, but I think if I'm doing basketball I want at the top I think row looks pretty good or default. I don't know. You guys let me know in class. But anyways, that is how you add virtual scoreboard uh, to your stream. And then it uh, does. It updates absolutely live on here. So if I, let's just go, obviously I can't show you two screens at once. But if I uh, go to this and I start, let's just say I hit start here. So the time's going to start clicking down. Let's say I add just some points here for the Dutch girls and some points for the Eagles. I go back to my stream labs. It's already got there. So this gives the viewer that's at home or watching it live an opportunity to kind of see what it is like real time. So that's it. Whenever I look at your guys' source, so understand that I can literally open all of your guys' stuff here. Let's just choose uh, Mackenzie Pig. I know she got a little bit of a late start on it. Love you, Mackenzie. Um, but she's going to have to catch up a little bit. So I look at her text blocks. Uh, she's got that perfectly good. She's got this perfectly good. But whenever I go to grade, I can quite clearly see that she still got a little catching up to do because she doesn't have the last two. By the time you're done with this video, you should have five of them. So, um, yours should look like mine. That's all I got for you. Um, also understand that once I close that browser, this is gonna go away. So when I open yours up, I'll be able to see that you put a scoreboard and I'll be able to see that you put a URL because if I double click it, I'll be able to see the URL. Um, but I also understand that whenever I look on it, it's gonna go away. So I'll show you once I close mine, if I close this thing, um, and then I go here, and I think if I close this thing, uh, I guess it stays there for a while, but I think if I logged off and I got back on here, like let's say in an hour, I think that would be gone. Maybe not, maybe it'll just keep going, I have no clue. I can't imagine that would stay up though. So uh, that's it for this video. That's how you add a scoreboard to your Streamlabs stream. Thank you.